Hey, what's up, guys? This is Cruz Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, I got something awesome for you. Got a quick tip. It's in the AI space, and I'm going to show you how to do AI video generation. Whether you have some text, so you want to create a prompt and turn that into a video, I can show you how to do that. And I'm also going to show you how to take an image. Maybe you made an image on Mid Journey or Stable Diffusion or Dolly 3, whatever, and then animate that as well. And the real coup de gras on this one here is it is completely free. There's no charge on this. So it's pretty cool and it's worth a look. So here we go. The app is called Hyper.ai. I will put a link in the description below. If I go to my Google Chrome here, you'll see here, this is the login screen. It's literally as easy as just trying it for free. And these are some pretty cool videos in the background, I should add. Presto, now it'll ask you to either sign in with your Discord or your Gmail account. I've got it in head and signed up with my Gmail account. And bang, now we're in it. Now, to take a look around here, on the left side, you're going to see Explore. So you're going to see some of the best creations by the tool. And let's be honest, some of these are really, really good. Like this one here is superb. Look at this girl just sort of looking at this dragon. Now, the one thing I really like about this app is it gives you the exact prompt used to generate this. So if you see something you like, you can literally just copy and bang, we can work with this. You can also take the seed and use the seed as well. If you're a little bit more of an advanced user, you're basically just taking the style and then regenerating or creating a new content with that. So I've gone ahead and copied that as the prompt, but then again, hey, you know what? Let's take a look at some of the other ones so you can see how just how cool this is. I'm gonna click on this one here, and boom, this is Tom Cruise Spaceship Oblivion. That is literally the entire prompt. How cool is that, eh? So you don't have to always get fancy with your prompt. So there you go. Now, it's currently restricted to about two or three second videos, which is not very long, but I want to point your, you know, point you up here to the top right here. It says, extend your video is coming soon. So again, this is pretty early days, but it's there and it works. Now, let's go through it. Now, the main thing you want to do is you can start creating yourself. So you can either check out your creations or you can just go up here to the top and then go create video with text. So I'm going to create a video with text, but I'm also going to show you how to animate your images. So let's do this one first. Create video with text HD. Just click on it like that. At the bottom, you're going to see here this little prompt bar has popped up. We can literally just describe what we want to see. So I want to see a cyberpunk French bulldog, I don't know, on the beach. Purple, let's go uh, dark colors and bright uh, background. I don't know, I'm just having some fun here. High contrast, uh, cool ghost in the shell style, something like that. Oops. I mean, just have some fun here. It doesn't really matter. I'm not here to do a prompting tutorial. I just want to show you how good this is. And then if you want, you can add in some of these already pre-built styles. So if I, well, they've got the cyberpunk one here. So why don't I just click on that? So we'll add that in and then you'll see here, it comes up with high tech city, mechanical environment, high tech fantasy, robotic, etc. Great prompt, lots of cool things to add in. Let's click on create. When you do that, you're going to see here that we get taken into the creation mode. And then here's our prompt. And now we're in the queue for generation. Now, while it loads that up here, I've gone ahead and had some fun earlier. So you'll see here, I've got this one here. I created this black and white movie style retro 90s, 1960s, pardon me, dog reading a book because that's how you know it's me. I always got dogs reading a book. And then I've got this one here, a different sort of cyberpunky style. Dog just sort of sitting there in his pod, reading his book, and so on and so forth. This one is a bit of a steampunk style. Look at this one. Kind of cool. I like that one too. And yeah, I just got this one here. This is an image I animated. I just dropped this image in here. I made it in mid-journey. And then I've got this cyberpunk girl drinking a beer or whatever she's doing here and stuff like that. So anyways, this is cute for generation. I'll come back, show you what we got when it's done. All right, welcome back. So here's what we got here. I'm just going to click play. And there we go. We've got my French Bulldog on the beach. If I click into the prompt here, it's, it's sort of cyberpunkish, but it's got the dark colors and bright background that I requested. So it's got the, you know, it's got the look that I'm going for. I might have went for a little bit more of a bit more of a higher contrast value uh, between the different colors. But hey, you know what? It's a first good crack. I'll take it. Now, if you get a result that you don't quite like, you have a few options. You can just re-roll it or regenerate it. Just click that button here. If you want to adjust the prompt. So in this case, maybe I don't want him on the beach. Maybe I want him at the airport. I don't know. I just go in and I type at the airport 
and that's it. I generate and I cook it again. So just keep that in the back of your head. And you can also go ahead and repaint as well. Uh, repainting, you get this option here where we can go ahead and either describe the target you want to generate or you can vary a part of the region. So if I click on vary region, you'll see here very quickly here, I don't want to bore you with too much here, but I can sort of select him like I selected him or her and bang, there we go. We've got the dog and maybe I click cyberpunk and then I hit create again and then it re-rolls it with the repainting option. So while it does that, I want to show you something else that you can do as well. I'm going to go back up here to the left under explore and now I'm going to animate an image. So for those of you that create tons and tons of AI images like I do, I just click on animate image. I can now upload the image. So I'm just going to grab, I don't know, I'm going to grab this cyberpunk girl here. I've got a theme here and then presto, there she is. She's loaded in. And now what do I want her to do? I don't know. I don't know. I want her to drink beer or drink energy drink. That's a better uh, drink. So yeah, maybe a cyberpunk female drinking energy drink, something like that. Okay, drinking energy drink. I mean, it's not very original. I know, I understand. But uh, there we go. So I'm going to click on create and then presto, you're going to see here that it starts to generate. So right now, this one is generating first. I'll come back when it's done. I'll show you both results. We'll call it a day. All right, welcome back. So here is the high tech city, the one that I sort of got rid of the bulldog. And to be honest with you, it did a really, really bad job. So this is not really usable. But when it comes to like the, the female drinking uh, energy drink, here's an example that I created earlier. I don't want to wait for it to regenerate. So there, look at that. She's got the cyberpunky face. Her energy drink gets purple and or pinkish magenta at the top. Very basic stuff. But again, guys, this is completely free. Just click on it, log in, start rolling, create your own content. You can download anything here you see under explore. Uh, if you like this one here, for example, just click on the download button. You can use it, click on it again if you wanna see what they put in there to uh, generate the video. And that's it, guys. This is a free tool. Thanks for watching.